الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين وصحبه المنتجبين السلام عليكم dear viewers in this short program which is being presented to you from the Holy Shrine of Imam Rida, peace be upon him. I would like to draw your attention to a number of rules concerning following a source of emulation, following a mujtahid in your practice of Islam. The question is this, can we follow a source of emulation, a mujtahid, marja? on an issue and follow another source of emulation on another issue. For example, you follow a source of emulation in relation to your fasting and you follow another source of emulation in relation to your praying or in relation to zakat, paying alms. Is that possible? The answer is yes. You may follow two sources of emulation, one source for a particular aspect of your practice and another for another aspect of your practice on two conditions. The first condition is that both sources of emulation must be equal in their knowledge and qualification as the source of emulation. The other condition is that the issues that you refer to these source of emulations must be totally separate matters. For example, you can follow, as I mentioned earlier, you can follow a source of emulation in relation to fasting and you can follow another source of emulation in relation to zakat. But you cannot follow two sources of emulation in relation to fasting. This is not allowed, this is not permitted. But you may follow two sources of emulation on two different subjects. Now, another point is that Members of the same family do not necessarily have to follow the same source of emulation. For example, uh, the guardian or the father of the family may be, may be following a certain <coughs> person, a certain source of emulation. The rest of the members of the family do not necessarily have to follow the very same person. Following a scholar for your practice Following a source of emulation is an individual and independent matter. It's very personal. So it's not important whether all the members of a family follow the same source of emulation or not. And finally, if your source of emulation has a precaution, he takes a precaution in relation to a particular rule. For example, your source of emulation says it is compulsory, it is obligatory by precaution for you to do or not to do a certain practice. If you can see the word of precaution there, you may refer to another source of emulation on that particular matter, but on two conditions. The first condition is that the other source of emulation that you refer to must not have taken a precaution on that matter. In other words, he must have a clear-cut fatwa and decree on that particular subject. The second condition is that this other source of emulation must be second to your 
current source of emulation in terms of his qualification and knowledge. In other words, if your source of emulation is the most knowledgeable and qualified of all, which it, he should be, you cannot refer on that precaution to just any other source of emulation or to just any other mujtahid. The new one must come second to your current source of emulation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.